Hi, welcome to Fish on Fridays. I'm Al McCauley, and this is the third... I'm taping this episode right around Christmas, and this is the third Christmas message um, episode, if you will, that I've that I've filmed for this web series, Fish on Fridays, and um, we're something like 140 episodes in. I never thought that it would have lasted this long, um, but it's, this has been a joy in my life to do this, to produce this series, and I'm, I'm very happy that you've tuned in and been part of it. Um, and in past two Christmases, I've filmed a brief message, very brief, um, and, and I want to do that again today for this year, for 2022, and say, you know, thank you to all of you who've watched. Um, thank you for the teachers, to the parishioners who've watched this, and if it's helped you in any way, I'm just, I'm grateful that the Holy Spirit has, has used this series in that way for you. Um, most particularly, I'd like to thank my wife, Katie, who's so supportive of me doing this filming and turning my, my, my basement area into a little bit of a studio here, and, and in particular way, Emily Shemaleski, who is the producer and the editor of this series. She has just been a godsend with the technology and, and helping to make this look good. Every time you see an episode and it looks good, she makes me look good because she does all the hard work. I, I just get to film and, and research and, and I, I love doing it, but um, boy, she puts it all together, the bells and whistles. Um, so thank you to Emily. Thank you to my wife. Thank you to all of you. But um, I do want to leave you with a brief message and that's this. Christmas every year we know falls on December 25th. And, and if you're Catholic, you know hopefully that the day after that, December 26th, is the feast of St. Stephen. St. Stephen is known as the first Christian martyr. He's also the first Christian mystic. Um, we learn about him most predominantly about his death in Acts of the Apostles chapter 7. And if you go to Acts chapter 7, it's a long chapter. And the first 50 verses, 50, 5 he's finger wagging the people in charge, the Pharisees and, and all those Jewish officials who have really had a hand in killing the prophets, but ultimately killing Jesus. And you just get the point where they're getting to the point where they're really peeved at him. They're really upset. But apparently they let him just, you know, tell them they're they're wrong. He's really giving them what for. And then in about verse 51, he, he says the thing that's going to get him killed. He says he sees the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Father in heaven. He has a vision. So he's the first mystic. And they can't take it anymore. So they throw him out of the city and they stone him to death. And so... Um, we celebrate this this wonderful man, this spirit-filled man, a deacon in the church, one of the first seven deacons of the church. Um, we celebrate him for his witness uh, to our Lord. Now, why am I bringing that up? Because it's the day after Christmas, and it seems so weird, so strange, incongruent to say, well, we have the joy of Christmas, and then the very next day, we're reminded of the first Christian martyr. And and it might seem very abrupt, and well, what's that? Give us give us a few days to celebrate the, you know, the joys of Christmas. But I think it's a I think it's a genius move from the part of the church to to have this feast of Saint Stephen following Christmas because it should be a reminder that you know the life of a Christian is not always fun and games there is suffering there are trials but that's not the the end of it the good news is as, as Jesus said in John's gospel um your sorrow will be turned to joy that we we're going to know sorrow we're going to know death we're going to know hardship but that's not it's never the end as Julian of Norwich said, the worst has happened, but it's been repaired. So Christ's, Christ's death and resurrection to die no more means that we have that same faith, that we will rise again to die no more if we have faith in that and we live that faith out. And I think that the beauty of the incarnation of Christmas, right back, you know, bookending right next door to each other with St. Stephen's Feast Day is a reminder that ultimately um, this world is, we're in this world, but we're not of this world. And so we have to remember that the trials, the tribulations, and even the death we 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 face in this world is not the end of it. That ultimately Christ's coming was to give us eternal life. And that's the good news of it all. So Christmas, this Christmas, my blessing to you, my hope for you is that you, that you revel in that, that that good news, that Christ's coming brings us eternal life despite our sufferings, despite our trials, despite our hardships, and despite even our death. Again, thanks so much for watching all this time. I, I'm very grateful. I can't tell you how, how, how pleased I am that, that people tune into this web series and continue to do so. Um, I hope you have a blessed Christmas and a wonderful, healthy, happy new year. Thanks for watching. God bless.